Camtech Gwalior is a multidisciplinary centralized training center under the Ministry of Railways. This center develops technical publications and manuals on various railway assets and provides training through seminars and webinars, thereby assisting the maintenance team in improving the reliability and efficiency of the system. This video is related to battery, battery charger, and DC distribution board DCDB under the series maintenance of assets of 132 kV to 27 kV conventional railway traction substation. The 240 volt AC power supply from the AC distribution board ACDB is fed to both the battery chargers and other loads. Two incoming circuits from the DC output terminals of the battery chargers are connected through a double pole changeover switch to a bus bar housed inside the DCDB. The battery set is directly connected to DCDB bus bar for charging and supplying the DC in case of failure of the charger or AC supply. The 110 volt DC supply is fed from the DC bus bar to control circuits of types of equipment such as transformer, BM, LVCB, HVCB, feeder, capacitor bank, RTU, control and relay panel, etc. This figure shows the complete scheme of DC supply through DCDB inside the control room battery charger and DCDB are available in various ratings. Maintenance of battery and charger. The periodic maintenance of the battery and charger are carried out in the following schedules. Maintenance schedules of battery and battery charger. Fortnight schedule. In the fortnightly schedule, perform activities like checking specific gravity, level of electrolyte, temperature and voltage of cell and total voltage of battery and check AC and DC voltage on panel, etc. Monthly Schedule In the monthly schedule perform activities like checking of proper function of the voltmeter and ammeter and any sign of overheating inside the charger, etc. in addition to fortnightly schedule activities. Quarterly Schedule in the quarterly schedule perform activities like checking the terminal connection on the disconnecting link and overheating or defective 3-pin plug socket etc. in addition to fortnightly and monthly schedule activities. Half yearly schedule In the half yearly schedule perform activities like checking the working of the rectifier, coarse fine control switch and trickle boost change over switch etc. in addition to fortnightly, monthly and quarterly schedule activities. Annually Schedule In the annually schedule perform activities like measuring the insulation resistance of transformer winding and capacitance of electrolyte condenser etc. in addition to fortnightly, monthly, quarterly and half yearly schedule activities. Periodic Overhauling Periodic overhauling of battery charger to be done after 10 years of service and do the following mentioned in table. Maintenance of DC Distribution Board The periodic maintenance of the DCDB is carried out in the following schedules. Maintenance of DCDB Quarterly Schedule in the quarterly schedule perform activities like checking the function of voltmeter, earth termination points, defective lead and fuses, etc. Half yearly schedule In the half yearly schedule perform activities like checking of all cable termination and smooth operation including working of MCB and rotary switches, etc. in addition to quarterly schedule activities. Annually Schedule In the yearly schedule perform activities like measuring the insulation resistance of cable and check all cable termination crimping of cable ends with connectors lugs, etc. in addition to quarterly and half yearly schedule activities. There are many activities that have to be performed during the maintenance of battery, battery charger and DCDB. Cleaning of sulfation on terminal connectors, 
and applying petroleum jelly on the battery. If the vent plug hole is blocked, clear the passage for gases of the battery. Clean the charger and DCDB outside and inside with a dry cloth or soft brush. Check the interconnections, terminal connections and earthing connections and their tightness. Check the electrolyte level and physical conditions such as cracks, distortions and accumulation of whitish deposits on the batteries and stand and clean. Check the smooth operation of all switches of battery charger and functioning of voltmeter and ammeter and LED indication. Check the any sign of overheating inside the charger and overheating or defective 3 pin plug socket. Record the temperature of the battery room. Testing of battery, battery charger and DCDB. As per the maintenance schedule, these tests shall be carried out at regular intervals mentioned in this table. Specific gravity measurement. Specific gravity of each cell shall be measured with the help of a hydrometer. The specific gravity of each cell shall be 1210 at 27 degrees Celsius in charged condition. Voltage measurement. With the help of a multimeter, measure the voltage of each cell as well as the voltage of the battery set. Each cell voltage should be 2 volt to 2.2 volt and battery set voltage should not be less than 110 volt. Insulation resistance test. The main objective of this test is to know the health condition of the object under test. This is a DC voltage injection test method and for this test, we require a 500 volt insulation tester. Precautions before testing. While performing the tests following precautions shall be ensured. Insulation resistance test of transformer winding of charger. When conducting an insulation resistance test on transformer winding, a 500V insulation tester shall be used. Open the connections from both ends. Steps for testing. Here we are conducting a test for HV to earth. Now connect the line and earth terminal of the tester to the HV terminal and equipment earth through leads respectively. After that check all the connections and select the test voltage level to 500 volt. Now on pressing the test button of the tester, 500 volt AC voltage is applied across HV and earthing. As a result, leakage current will flow in the circuit and the tester will measure this leakage current and calculates the insulation resistance by the ratio of applied voltage and measured leakage current. Do test for these combinations and testing data may be recorded in this format for further investigation and future reference. Insulation resistance of LV cables. Measure and record IR value of cable between core to core and core to earthing by 500 volt mega. The insulation resistance values shall not be less than to mega HM.